Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a very special video here on the Iron Man profile. Today, we're in the Glassite Tunnels for the first time on the main server. The update is live, and my goodness, we have so much to do. So if you guys are excited for today's video and the update as a whole, and the future updates to come, which we'll be talking about later in today's video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get ready to jump right into this. Super quickly though, if you do ever find yourself checking out the Hypixel store for some Skyblock gems, whether it be for a seasonal bundle or an ongoing fire sale, such as the Hard Harvester Fermento Fire Sale Helmet. This thing looks super cool. I highly recommend using my career code on checkout is code Zach, spelled just like my name, Z-A-C-H. You type that in on checkout and you will save 5% on your purchase. It's a great way to support myself and the channel and uh, you get to pick up some cool stuff at a discount. So yeah, make sure you pick this up before it's gone. But without further ado, let's get into the glassite tunnels. Okay, I'm speed running this, but the update is live. I got my pass. Uh, I got in like really quick, but uh, oh, requires this. Hello, here you go. Yes, I, I am. Please take it, take it, take it. Let me go, let me go, let me go. You have to prove it with a secret railroad pass. Give ticket, give ticket, take it. It is all yours. Let me travel. Where's my minecart? Let's go. Off to the Dwarven Caves. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. I am so excited. This is going to be a fun day. We're here. We are here. The Dwarven Base Camp on the main server. That's actually... I'm level 403. Okay, there is two extra levels of powder, which is from uh, the old powder, which is kind of insane. Um, okay, is he done yapping? Who do I have to talk to? Um, what, what did the quest say? Talk to Dr. Stone, Pilius. Okay, let's go talk to Dr. Stone. Get his yap out of the way. Hello, Dr. Stone. Good to see you. Man, I'm so hyped for this. This update is actually gonna be so much fun. Let me talk to some NPCs and get grinding. So I didn't record much of like the first little bit on uh, the update so far because um, it basically got shut off very quickly, but I was hopping between mine shafts, getting some suspicious scraps. I actually dropped some glass eye jewels really early on, or shards, sorry. So I got two out of the nine I need for that. I have my helix fossil ready for the NPC. I got my first chisel and overall was kind of just progressing decently well. Was getting my hands on some of the brand new gemstones as well as some of the other um new resources i guess you could say that you can also obtain such as glassite was getting a little bit of that some umber as well as some tungsten but uh, unfortunately right now it is um yeah it is it is closed uh, temporarily disabled but something i wanted to talk about is in yesterday's video um we put netherward distillate into the inferno minions turns out it doesn't make a difference and it's not a thing that works however I've looked in the minions. I have never gotten more than one vertex from my two minions before. If we go take a look, we have a vertex in this minion right here. Let's go ahead and collect that. Beautiful. This minion over here, the one that's been slacking a lower level one, uh, as you can see, nothing here, but I looked in the chest, two vertexes. So I'm kind of inclined to believe that maybe you guys are right. Um, turns out that it doesn't, like... Oh, it's so confusing. Netherward Distillate says that it, like, rolls more specialty items. The specialty items are just the Netherward. It actually rolls for, like, vertexes and stuff per kill is what I've been told. I know there was a time where it did actually mean more vertexes, but I just got three from running Netherward Distillate for a day. So, I'm inclined to do it again. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I don't think it actually works, but it seems to have worked for me is, like, basically what I'm trying to say, which is really weird, but... We're going to try it again for another day, and uh, if I get three vertexes again, then yeah, I'll, I'll confidently say that it works. But until then, I, I just can't give like that patented seal of approval, unfortunately. So let's go ahead and make 32 um, heavy Gabagool, just like so. Also, someone was saying, why put heavy in these minions over here? If I put anything lower, I basically can't fund everything else I'm doing, like all the other, like, the other two minions and... I, I need the Gabagool uh, to make Hypergolic, so that's why I'm running Heavy Tier in here, um, in case you're wondering. It's just most worthwhile for me, so I can actually like keep up on Gabagool, and so far it's been going pretty well. But let's go ahead and make two Hypergolic Gabagool, uh, so we can actually fuel these bad boys again. I'm going to run Netherwart Distillate for another day, which is uh, insane. So let me go ahead and make the eight heavy ones. Ooh, what am I missing? These here. Okay, let's grab this. We're going to make eight of these. Uh, okay, it should be good just to click those. And then let's go ahead and grab out a little bit of nether ward distillate. One, two, three, four, five, six. Need 12 of those in total. And make sure we make the nether ward ones. I don't know if this actually works, but it just so happened to actually work for us is basically what I'm trying to say. So 
that's enough for me to to try it again it's it's worth another shot in my eyes so yeah let me fill these things up but three vertexes in the day holy that's amazing okay the update is back out um they're <laughs> look at the mocking me bro this update was delayed the hypixel skyblock episode number 9374 hey maybe one day but not today either way first thing i want to do donate my helix that will give me whoa five thousand heart of the mountain experience Twenty thousand glassite powder, ten skyblock XP. That is actually OP. Yeah, those things are actually kind of juiced pretty early on. But we have a lot of things to do, a lot of resources to gather, mobs to kill, and uh, in total, we just gotta get back to it. I mean, the the update was like offline for like a few hours. I mainly need to prioritize commissions, so I need to find a mine shaft, mine some aquamarine, loot three corpses. I think is what that other task is. So I need to remember where the aquamarine area is. Is this it? This looks like aquamarine. Let me go and mine this. It is. Okay, good. There we go. Beautiful. But yeah, I just, I need to get busy. So I'll be back with some progress, but uh, see you guys in a bit. This update honestly has a ton to it. And at the time I'm recording this clip, the day you guys are seeing this video, they actually just released a massive forum post going in depth about uh, basically where the forging update's at. And it looks insane. Um, I might do a whole separate video on it because it's just so much to cover or maybe we'll just wait for alpha but i highly recommend you head over to the hypixel forums and read the design post yourself the amount of stuff that is in this forum post is ridiculous okay it, the forging update is going to be across three islands um and not to mention there's a brand new skill called hunter there's a hunter skill where you have to hunt mobs it, it, there's so much to it between like abilities. There's going to be a heart of the forest. They wanted the island to be lively. They added like there's this cool water area that I, I still need to understand more. But overall, just insane amounts of stuff and uh, detail that they went into, as well as really cool pictures to get you guys excited for the forging update um that hopefully we can see on the main server within the next couple months as well as they also uh released the patch notes for the glassite tunnels if you want to read more about those also head to the forums uh basically going into depth about everything that you guys are kind of seeing here and uh i'm sorry clips have kind of been far and few between i have some grinds i need to get on top of so that i can actually enjoy all the content in the update uh, mainly being um, Heart of the Mountain. I need to get to Heart of the Mountain 10 as fast as possible. It's about 300 of the brand new commissions to get to Heart of the Mountain 8. So that is my first goal and we'll hopefully be hitting it in tomorrow's video in all honesty. But yeah, been having a lot of fun with the update. Been going into a bunch of mine shafts with friends and stuff. is super cool. Been getting really unlucky with Suspicious Scrap, can't lie. Uh, I only have three to my name so far, but those will have to come as we progress. But Heart of the Mountain 8 allows me to basically start getting the keys for the other types of uh, bodies, that I guess you could say, or corpses. And so, yeah, been doing my best to try and get my hands on that, running between just commission cycling and getting lost quite often in this uh, giant new area. Like, seriously, there's so much to explore and understand and... Uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Okay, let me cool off quick, I guess, without really wanting to. Looking for Onyx, which is somewhere. Is it? Uh, it's by the big pond, but where is the big pond? Um, yeah, as you can see, this place is massive. There's tons to explore. The only real way to properly understand the scale of these tunnels is to hop online, get Heart of the Mountain 7 if you aren't there already, and uh, yeah, just check it out. I mean, look, there's like Ruby to mine in here too, which is super nice, but there's so much to do. Uh, so many things we're working towards. Been going up a bunch of collections as well as uh, getting some powder. I currently have 68,000 glassite powder, which isn't amazing, but everyone has to start somewhere, you know? And uh, overall, just working towards um, leveling up, which I have. I actually hit level 404, and I'm already 18 XP into the next level, which is super nice. And, oh, someone in the guild actually found a mine shaft. So I'll show you guys one of those really quickly. Let's see what type it is. All right, we are in. Let's hop down. Ooh, it's a aquamarine one. Oh, it's actually tempting to stay around for a while for that. Not going to lie. Aquamarine is... Oh, it's, I guess it's the sea creature chance, but I will need it for my chisel. I'll need three perfects of this stuff for my chisel, but um, we'll deal with that a little bit later on. I'm sure we'll have plenty of time to mine it. Just been doing my best to... Uh, the faster I can get my Heart of the Mountain up, the faster I can actually get my forge going. But yeah, I've been doing these big bestiary parties. Been going up a ton of the brand new beast series too. We basically just lobby hop uh, when someone finds a mine shaft. We all hit all the mobs. And um, yeah, it's been a good time. Also, where is this lapis corpse? I need to find this thing. And then also something, a little tip and trick. If you find yourself in the mine shafts, you can't use abilities. But one thing you can use is a grappling hook. So one of those day one items 
uh, finally being useful again. I don't know if they meant for that to happen, but it works. Corpse here. Oh, up here. Okay. Beautiful. Yes. I actually knew that, but I, I didn't at the same time. Yellow Goblin Egg. And look, we got some more Heart of the Mountain XP. Great stuff all around. Been having a lot of fun with the update. And this sneak peek of the forging update looks insane. We still have the community center projects coming out soon on the main server and on alpha. And then we also have Primal Dragons, they said, is still coming as well. So a lot to look forward to if you uh, play Hypixel Skyblock right now. Seriously, one of the best times to be a Skyblock player. So uh, yeah, make sure you keep progressing in those skills. You can actually enjoy some of the new content. I'm not sure what forging level you're going to have to be for the new forging update, but... I'd, I'd say you're probably safe if you get to, like, Forging 30. Um, if you're feeling ambitious, go for Forging 40. But, um, yeah, I just I can't wait for all this stuff, man. Too much fun. If you guys didn't get a chance to watch some of my alpha videos, that's kind of... Uh, this video is kind of um, very surface level in terms of the actual stuff added because I'm mainly just assuming a lot of you guys did or have hopped on alpha yourself, check some stuff out, and understand a little bit about the update. But let's say you haven't, and you're wondering what I'm mining right now. Uh, these are gemstones. You probably know what gemstones are, but in case you don't, they give different stat boosts. And they added four new gemstones in this update. We have Onyx, Peridot, Citrin, and Aquamarine. And honestly, all four of them are going to have some pretty cool uses. Um, so first and foremost, Onyx gives crit damage as a stat when applied to various armor pieces or weapons or basically wherever it can be applied. Um, then we have, uh, and Onyx is the black gemstone. Then we have Peridot, which is this one right here in front of me. Peridot is one uh, I'm going to personally need a lot because it actually gives farming fortune, which is really OP. And some people have done the math and looked. I think you need 37 perfect Peridots to max out your fortune uh, on everything that you can, like farming tools. There's gemstone slots on Fermento armor now. Really cool gemstone. We're just going to need a ton of it. And uh, to get that, you're also going to need 37 per dot crystals, which you get from skeleton keys or a certain mine shaft. So it's going to be a grind. We have a lot of content in this update that I'm really excited to kind of delve into and max out. And there's also over 24 skyblock levels in this update. So that's amazing. Um, should be a lot of fun. But and then um, the next one on the list that we can talk about is Aquamarine. Aquamarine is this really cool, like dark blue uh, glass block. And that one actually gives sea creature chance if i'm not mistaken which is really cool so you won't have to focus on sea creature chance as much if you have those in your set you'll be able to kind of just focus on fishing speed which is really good and should be super helpful so that one's gonna have a lot of cool uh, applications and then there's citron which is like this brownish colored uh gemstone i'm actually running around looking for some right now because i think i need some for uh a commission i do but citron actually gives forging fortune and based off of the alpha or the forum post that we actually just saw about things to come for the forging update you might want to prepare a few of those too but here's the aquamarine um gemstone in in the flesh looks super sick honestly this update all around is super cool this is tungsten if you didn't know this like clay and cobble then we have umber which is like these full walls of like orange clays and sands which also looks really nice you obviously have mithril and hardstone in here just a really cool new um, mining area that I'm, I'm sure a lot of you will enjoy once you get to the area if you aren't here yet. And there's a lot of things we're going to need to forge. There's an RNG drop we actually need from Skeleton Keys, which is like the rarest type of corpse. So that's going to be really cool to grind for. Just a lot of cool stuff. And uh, I'm really excited to fully dive into it. Hopefully you guys are as well. But yeah, make sure you actually hop on the server, play through some of it yourself. It, this update's sick. All that stuff I just said about the update too really only scratches the surface. I mean, there's Heart of the Mountain 10. I need 20 million glassite powder for max powder now. Um, I also need to get a ton of suspicious scrap, which is these little things you guys have been seeing me collect throughout the video. And if you use those at the excavator, you have a chance to find fossils. And there are eight fossils that you can actually find being seven new pets come from, such as a T-Rex, Spinosaurus, Penguin, Mammoth, Mole, Goblin, and um, I believe I'm missing one, the Ankylosaurus. Yeah, so really cool pets. Um, honestly, they killed it with them. They look sick. Some of them have really cool uses, um, such as the mole pet actually being really good for uh, crystal nucleus runs, which is kind of something that we've been lacking, like pets for a lot of these little things. So really cool stuff. Uh, the pets are honestly 
quite useful and also just a ton of skyblock xp but not to mention the brand new collections obviously that we've been talking about there's so much to this update uh, i really can't wait to um hopefully eventually max it out but one day at a time and um also make sure you keep an eye on how cold you get because if you get to negative 100 you will uh die basically and get get set back to the spawn so i actually need to go look for the entrance really quickly and something tells me it's not down here let me go find the campfire i really wish i had more time for today's video because there's so much i want to dive into um i guess we're gonna have to kind of save that for tomorrow's video uh, also, there's a glassite collection level up. Need to get those up so I can get some things going in the forge that I need for keys and different items in the update. We also just got a mine shaft, which is pretty cool. So let's go ahead and hop in there. I'm gonna G party, get the guild in here, and um, yeah, what type of mine shaft did we find? Uh, it looks like a glassite mine shaft actually somehow. But let's go ahead and warp everyone in. And oh wait, oh it's the fairy soul. It's the fairy soul. Wait, let's go. Okay, can I grab that, please? Can I, can I get it? Wait, how am I how am I not getting that? Uh, P invite Yappy. Maybe I already got it. Uh, why isn't there a message? Um, P warp. Let's warp. Um, I don't know why. Maybe it registered that I have it. I can't tell. Man, I wish I had a skeleton key because who knows what this thing's holding. You can get some insane stuff from them as well as an RNG drop you need for the best new mining uh, necklace in the game. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have it, but I did get the fairy soul as well as my suspicious scrap from here. Killed all the mobs, and now I can kind of just make my way out. But yeah, really cool mine shaft to find. And I actually think we should now have enough... Um, Oh, also hard the mountain XP. There you go. We should have enough fairy souls to claim the next group of five, which is, it's been a long time coming for this. We do. 10 skyblock XP. Don't mind if we do. 34, that should put me up to four. Why didn't it auto update? Why? Why does it do that? See, let me go to my island. We should be at 44, I think. Yes, there we go. It updated. But hey, finally some more fairy soul XP. You love to see it. We're working our way to level 405. 404 is looking clean though, but we have a we have a long ways to go still. And man, I just I love this update so far. It, I had a lot of fun testing it out on alpha to be honest, but there's just so much I need to go for. There's a ton of new items that you can actually forge, as you can see some of the ones I don't have unlocked, as well as this entire page. Here are all the pets as well. But yeah, just a lot to work towards. It should be super cool. And I know I've been saying cool nonstop, but I'm, I'm very, very excited for this. This is this is super sick to me. So yeah, make sure you guys hop on the server, test it for yourselves. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below the update. But we have a lot of videos to come on it. And uh, today was kind of just a little, a little teaser, a little appetizer of what's to come. We're going to be focusing on the glass eye tunnels quite a bit over the next few days and weeks. So if you guys are excited for that, then leave a like and subscribe. But uh, we have a lot of work to do. I really wish I had more time for today's video, as I was saying. But uh, unfortunately, you guys are supposed to see this video in like an hour and a half. So I need to get sent over to my editor and get a thumbnail made, all that fun stuff. But thank you guys so much for watching our introductory video to the glass eye tunnels. A lot more videos to come. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that, as well as the future updates that are coming to the server look insane. From forging to the new mares that we're getting, uh, either perks or mares, we actually aren't even sure yet can't wait to see that on the alpha server then we have primal dragons on the way there's just so much cool stuff coming our way as skyblock players hopefully you guys are excited for all that stuff as well but um yeah without further ado don't forget to leave a like and subscribe use code zach when checking out on the hypixel store without further ado i'll see you guys in the next one take care and peace out